Hey y'all, so I am here in New York City. It's my, what, third day here? And it is a little bit of a cloudy day today. Um, I have a lot of things to do tonight before I go, but I wanted to do one last video before I leave because I feel like the ambience here in the city is a lot more different um, than my ambience at home. And something hit me recently, it's about stop apologizing for existing I, I don't know why that phrase kept coming into my brain but stop apologizing for existing was my big thing that I've been battling recently more so recently but also I see other people go through as well um, where we feel like we take up space in a room and where we feel that when we want to do something that it makes maybe other people around us uncomfortable because they may, they, maybe they don't want to do it and you apologize for saying like oh this is something that I want to do and I've gotten to the point where now I just don't really care what other people want if it's not like what I want if it's not hurting or affecting other people then you shouldn't like lose sleep over it you shouldn't lose sleep over i'm gonna move to a different area you shouldn't lose sleep over wanting to do something for yourself versus where another person like well i want to do this and this could be a lot of different things in life it doesn't have to be like you know like, let's say you're on a vacation with a friend or um you are trying to choose options where you want to go or um, you're going with a, a significant other and it's okay to do things on your own and I have been doing things on my own for so long now that it almost feels awkward when I do things with other people and because when I'm ready to do something when I'm ready to leave when I'm ready to go whenever I want to be do my own thing I don't need anybody's approval to do those things. I don't need anybody's validation to do those things. I don't need, because this is my life. And when you only have, when you really realize you only have one life to live, you aren't going to be losing sleep over, oh, well, maybe that offended that person because I wanted to do something a little bit different. And I just, I'm trying to, I'm still going through the motions where I have felt a little awkward, felt a little you know different and maybe a little hesitant to say something um instead of like you know you don't have to keep explaining yourself over and over and I feel like when the more you explain yourself other people are going to try to convince you to do the things that they want to do instead of you doing the things that you want to do and then you have regret over not doing that like today like I just I wanted, really wanted to go to the Barnes & Noble. Like, I haven't been to this Barnes & Noble, the biggest one. Like, I've been to many Barnes & Noble. I've been to many local bookstores. But I really, really wanted to go to this, the Union Square one. Because I just love the outs, outskirts of it, how to look. And um, that's where I would love to do. Like, when I go on my book tour one day and talk about my book, I would really want to go there. And then I just started walking. And I was about to go on the subway. And when I was about to go on the subway, I saw this cute little area, like this street, like where people are walking and there's no cars. And I said, I'm going to do a self-talk because I'm like, wow, I, me, me not apologizing for being myself and doing the things that I want to do. I was able to do this moment by myself. I was able to share this moment with you all. Like, look how gorgeous it is. Like, I'm here right now in the city. Look at those beautiful buildings. I feel like I'm in a totally different, like, land. Like, this doesn't even feel like New York. Like, I feel like when people think about New York, they think about Times Square and things. Like, this is New York that I love. Like, gems like this, it feels like... This makes me feel like I can live here. And it's inspiring to me to, you know, do the things that I want to do. And I hope whoever it clicks on this video, this is, like... I've been doing these self-talks recently in the past month or two and I'm finding more about myself by doing these self talks talking to the camera and being more comfortable in myself doing these things that I necessarily wouldn't have been comfortable with before 
I wouldn't have been comfortable necessarily trying to record myself or do things on my own. Um, maybe even a year ago, maybe even two years ago, I wouldn't have been comfortable to do this and sit by myself. And now I am so comfortable and elated to do things like this. Like, this is crazy. I'm like, I'm sitting here. I'm not in a rush. Like, who am I in a, who am I in a rush for? I am in a rush for nobody. You know, they say time waits for no one. Life really does not wait for no one. We have to do the things that we want to do. Stop apologizing for saying, telling people what you want to do. If it's not hurting them, then they could just get over it. They can get over it. And they don't want to get over it, then it, it's on them. It's on them. When it's when, when it's on them, it's on them. You got to just let it go and just do the things you want to do and you don't know how many opportunities and things that you have missed out on by just not doing the things that you say you were going to do. Like, if you have a list and itinerary and you say you're going to do something, don't sway away from it because another person wants to do something else. We're so quick to just, like, yield and just do what the other people do say to do for the sense of comfortability. And you don't have to do that. You don't have to have this, have to be make other people feel comfortable because they want to do something. Let if they want to do something, let them do it. Let them do that thing. They don't have to, you know. You, they don't have to do what you want to do. You don't have to do what they want to do. You don't have to do any of those things. And the quicker we realize, we don't have. Everybody can just has free will to do whatever the heck they want. The happier everybody else will be. The happier everybody else will be when they just start doing the things they want to do. So yes, y'all, enjoy life. Look at this beautiful day. It's gorgeous outside. Everybody's minding their own fucking business. That's what I love about New York. Everybody minds their business, does their thing, minds their business. And I feel like people lack minding business on the daily. They lack minding business. So once you do your thing and start living your life the way you want to do, life starts coming at you fast. So start acting like it, okay? Start acting like life's coming at you fast and you got your time is ticking on the things you want to do. Start doing that. How about that?